This is a stock trails and today we're going to give you a few tips if you're buying one of these used. This is a high-end stroller. It's very robust. It works well both in terrain and snow as well as in the city. It's uh, also a luxury stroller. Uh, one of the great things about the trails is that it has relatively simple mechanisms for being a high-end stroller. So there's fewer things that can go wrong. Very strong connection points between the plastic and the metal and so on. Uh, but there are a few things you want to look out for when you're buying the stroller. We'll start with the bag or seat. Uh, you want to make sure that it can detach and lock on in an easy way. You want to make sure that all the things that are included when you're buying the bag or the seat are there. Especially the seat has a lot of extra bits. And um, we have another video where we show how to take on and off the textiles to give you an idea of what ought to be included. So I'm going to just uh, remove this bag for now and we'll go down the chassis. You want to check uh, all the mechanisms that they function. Uh, with this stroller, there isn't going to be a lot of hidden damage. So if something is damaged, you'll notice it while you test the mechanisms. Um, you want to test the uh, handle regulation, telescopic mechanisms, folding mechanisms, and so on. Uh, if something doesn't click in place, that means that something's broken on it. Uh, again, there won't be hidden damage you'll find out a while later with this stroller. Um, there's also the seat regulation mechanism. If you have the seat on it, you press in the button on the side and this will adjust the seat at different heights um, and uh, you can make sure that this works. You can look at the black, uh, the white plastic bits here in the middle, make sure they're not broken. That's uh, what would go wrong if the seat is not adjusting properly. And uh, an important area on the stroller is the wheels. Uh, that's what you want to check the most. You want to check that they rotate properly. If it looks like it's um, uh, humping or bumping up and down as it goes, it could just be the alignment of the tire on the frame. So if you see that, you just want to check that the tire is more or less even. If it's not, that could be the cause of the problem, which can be easily fixed by removing the air from the tire and filling it in properly. Uh, you want to check that the front flat bit of the um, <clears throat> rim is tightly on. Uh, you can, in a lot of cases, snap this back on, but if you're buying it used, then uh, you might as well make sure it's in order in the first place. There is the brakes. You want to make sure the brakes break and release properly. Um, <clears throat> if they don't, it can be a sign that the stroller hasn't had proper maintenance and been oiled and uh, thus some rust has developed or there might be things inside. For the right price, of course, uh, you can always open it up and clean it, de-rust it, oil it, and so on. But this is certainly an area to check for. In relation to the front wheels, you also want to make sure that they're tight in the fork and they rotate properly, uh, that they swivel properly around. If you hear a little clicking sound, it's not really a problem. That's a result of um, mechanisms coming in contact with each other as you rotate it around. You shouldn't hear it during regular usage. Uh, but you want to make sure that it's relatively tight. And you want to make sure that the front wheels lock in place and can unlock. Beyond that, um, you're pretty safe buying a stroller like this. It's a very good stroller, top of the line. And I uh, hope this video has been helpful. If it has, uh, we ask you to subscribe as it helps us to continue making more videos in the future.